hello hello welcome back y'all today's video i have a really really cool concept it's going to be throwback thursday now i know y'all like okay what series is this because i have a lot of different series check the playlist this one is one of these things where you used to love something or you love something and somehow you got sidetracked and you came back to it y'all l'oreal true match like anybody that's into makeup know that these were the og the triple og the rider dies it came in 20 shades and it went back and expanded to 30 if you're dry combination oily if you're if you're just oily let your primer pick your poison with your primer let your primer do the work and put these on and you were set all day and i'm gonna show you all just with some um fix plus and i have c7 which is nut brown and i have c8 cocoa mixed together and this just gives me a nice true to complexion coverage um and the NYX Angel Veil and some Dr. Brent's in my T-Zone. And that's about it. Um, I touched this foundation some time ago and I'm sitting here looking like, why did you stop using it? But it's just like anything else. You know, you start buying new things, especially when you're beauty vlogging. And you kind of forget it's me to get into too much details about the concealer but i am going to conceal with it i am going to finish my face with the face powder and i'm going to touch on my cheeks with a little bit of the true matte true match blush and just do an easy breezy day but the whole point of this is just to give the wear test and titanium oxide is the active ingredient in this foundation which is which means sunscreen this foundation in the warmer months to come is going to be so ideal because you can apply every three hours if you look at the information facts on the back of it it'll tell you you can apply this every three hours for sunscreen purpose and it has an spf of eight it's not a lot but you also won't get a lot of flashback and with that dimethicone and glycerin in it, you get a nice matte finish, but a smooth finish with the glycerin. Concealer I have in the color medium deep. I applied some here on the bridge of my nose and top of my forehead, and I buffed it out with my sand foundation buffing brush. Uh, buffing brush, shit. Yeah. Okay, now this concealer, you won't get like a lot of coverage as far as like a a pro long wear by mac or a la girl pro but you will get a good coverage and the shade range i pick is good enough for those days like where you just want some extra brightness now if you want beat snatch you will have to go over this with something but just to add me some coverage and some brightening all in one this this does the trick and like I said, let me tell you something if you're looking for a satin silky face powder that's not too talky that's not too chalky this powder is big you know what i need to just break this out and use this on top of any other foundation that i choose to use because it blends in perfect look at that it's the right color and look it's, it's just it's very it's soft to the touch. That concealer added. Now I did go back and put the in the two, second layer. My large pore areas here. When I brush in my powder this way, I always go on my pore area. This is my right, your left. I always blend outward this way, and on this side I go this way. That way you're not poking your pore, your pores and opening them more. Okay, so all that's left for me to do is to flush on some blush. And I'm going to use the True Match blush in C7. It says Spice Plum, but nothing looks plum about it. It looks very, very pinky. But these are some soft. It is 1.10 p.m. And I think I'm going to be out and about till about 9-ish. And the sun is out. So this is a perfect foundation for me to test 
with the current skincare routine I have going on and y'all will see that further because I'm on some medication that requires sunscreen so we're gonna see how that goes with that and I'll be back probably about nine o'clock all right as y'all can see it is 1001 I had this foundation on since 1 10 p.m. now it was a clear beautiful 74 degree day you all um with some breeze which was beautiful and i'll insert some clips of all that and some time stamps in this clip um also keep in mind too well i'm gonna just show you i'm gonna get closer i do I, I have not touched my face all day no beauty blender no brush no nothing Breakdown all under the day. eye and around the nose my eyes water because I suffer with sinus this time of year, but let's 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 buff and see what happens. Okay, so immediately buffing is taking down the shine and taking on the excess oil if I go back into the compact, but my eyes watering this the concealer has broke down and so did the foundation but again this is eight almost nine hours later and i'm very impressed i'm very pleased but this is what i know i'm just giving you all the tea so sometimes you got to find your way back to your true love and get that old thing back i'll see y'all next video